Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox yet again. And we're in the Big Data Applications and Analytics course. And that's used to be called X Informatics. I still like the term X Informatics or X Analytics, but um, didn't take off. And uh, we're doing the uh, section on health and medical informatics. And this is lesson six, which is a short survey of medical image big data. And that's what this slide here says. This all comes from a talk I found on the web. So here is a nice pretty picture over here. And some of the highlights of that picture are given here. Um, so it says by essentially now, 2015, there'll be two thirds of a petabyte of patient data in the average hospital, and most of that data is image data. And that's not too surprising. Gene data hasn't taken off yet, and images are just much larger than uh, the uh, doctor's notes and uh, lab reports and things like that. And this image is increasing very rapidly. That again reflects both um, increasing, partly the fact that just the images are more useful now, because you can analyze them better, and also that the medical devices are more powerful. And so, I mean, this 665 is this thing here. And uh, here we have these various um, half a megabyte associated with uh, this type of image, 30 megabytes with this, CT scan a gigabyte, mammogram 120 megabytes, 3D MRI 150 megabytes, 36.6 million admissions. Uh, there's the 80% we have over here, and there are 425,000 telehealth providers in the U.S. And uh, there's this uh, picture archive and communications system is used for storing and retrieval. So here we have uh, the basic architecture, which is actually not nothing much to do with medicine. We, will, we all typically have two aspects of any uh, image system. In fact, any, uh, any retrieval system. We have a training phase. That's the phase that, classif that builds up your classification of images and does a, typically runs in batch. It's, um, and it extracts features, puts them all in, find clusters and all that sort of thing. So you have the final training, and then we long come a new image. And that new image is called the t is done one at a time. This does all available images all at once in the iterative algorithm. Most learning algorithms are iterative. And uh, we query the image against the system. Our trained uh, image, trained uh, training, trained image to get the classification, and then we. Um, find either some classification of the image or similar images. And of course, we always have this um, trade-off between precision, namely how accurate, how many um, good results versus bad results are gotten, and recall what fraction of the good results are gotten. Um, and it is very hard to get great recall uh, with great precision for obvious reasons. So that's a classic. I say this is this would be true. I think in I don't know any 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 uh, learning system. If you were classifying bears, you would have the in images you would have the same features, same architecture. Here's some um, slides showing with the richness of medical images, which again are quite common. We have things that are geometric and things that are photometric, um, such as the texture and the grayscale and the color. And here are all these algorithms. These are the analytics here. And it says that geometry is harder than Photometric, because it's harder to do the detailed detection of geometrical shapes. 
And um, so that's, uh, but the, you can expect, in my opinion, to see quite a lot of progress here. As you get more data and higher quality data, these geometrical methods will become more reliable. So I'm not so certain this isn't a challenge rather than a, than the result. This is just a classification of the types of medical images. Here we have gene sequences, screenshots, flow charts, tables, and here we have radiology, ultrasound. Magnetic resonance, tomography, x-ray, all sorts of things. Visible light photography of the skin and things. Here are all sorts of brain wave detections. Microscopy could be with various um, modalities. And everything can be done in 2D or 3D. So this again is not too dissimilar from other fields. And um, so this is the end of this uh, relatively short discussion of, um, of medical images, just showing the richness and uh, setting the scene for people who want to work in this area. Thank you very much. This is Jeffrey Fox signing off from lesson six. Thank you.